Hello and welcome to our YouTube channel. Today I will explain how to find key by value in a Python dictionary. As we know, a dictionary is a built-in data type in Python that hold multiple key value pair inside it. Assessing the data from a dictionary with the help of keys is very simple. But in this case, we are trying to get key by values inside a dictionary. Python provides many different methods to find key by value in a dictionary. Let's see and understand all of these methods with the help of some examples in our PyCharm editor. This is our PyCharm editor. Now let's take some examples and understand. We have also written an article on this topic. I will be using this article for the reference purpose during my video and I will drop the link in the description box. Let's take the first example and understand. In this example, we are using for loop with item functions in a dictionary. For loop is used to iterate over elements present in an iterable and item functions provide all the key value pairs in a dictionary. So if you see, we have defined a function in this case. And let me tell you what this function is doing. In this function, we are iterating over every key value pair in, in the dictionary with the help of item functions. And we are using conditional statements that if the value is equal to the provided value, then it should return the key. In this case, if you see, this cap represent the value and this capital is the provided value for which we are checking the key and if this value is equal to our provided value, it will return the respective key, that is state. If the key value is not present in the dictionary, it will return none. So we have a variable we, where we have provided our value for which we are checking the key. If this value is present in this dictionary, then we will get the respective state. And if it is not, then we will get none. So let's run and check. If you see, we get the statement, the state with the capital Austin is Texas. That means Austin was present in our dictionary and we get Texas as our state. I hope you understood this example. Let's take another example and understand another method. In this example, we are using list comprehension. List comprehension is a concise way of creating a list. And it consists of multiple conditional statements that will help us to filter the data in a dictionary. That's why we are using this list comprehension to filter the dictionary and get the keys of the respective values. If you see the list comprehension statement, it says that for every key value pair inside the dictionary, as we are getting that key value pair from the, with the help of item functions, if the value is in a list, that is the list of the values for which we are checking the keys. And if the values is present in that list of values, then it should return the key and keep it in the list and create a new list out of it. So we have provided two different values and we are checking whether these values is present in our list or not. And if it is present, then they should return the key name of these values. So let's run and check. If you see, we get two values as if to kill Mockingbird was respective key of the happily. If you see in this dictionary and the second one also the pride and precise is the respective key of Jane Austen. I hope you understood this example also. Do not worry. You will get the article link in the description box. You can get the codes from there. Let's take another example and understand another method. In this example, we are using list.index function. The index function provides the index number of the respective element in Python. So what we are doing is, first we are creating two different lists. First is the list of values and the second is the list of keys with the help of values function and keys functions in the dictionary. And we are finding the index value of the value for which we want to find the key. And this index value is stored in this index. And then we are finding the key with the help of that 
index number as list is an order collection of data so the respective key value pair will contain the same number of index number inside the list so let's run and check if you see we have provided 35 as the value and this is the 35 value and we should get charlie and we are getting charlie only i hope you understood this example also let's take another example and understand another method in this example we are using filter functions which filters element from an iterable from an iterable based on a function that returns true or false that function is lambda function and it will filter the data according to the conditions and will return true and false for each of the values in this example we are also using item function item function returns a list of tuples containing dictionary key value pairs what this lambda function is doing is it is checking if the second element of the tuple which we get from the items function is equal to the salary we have decided or the value we have decided then it will return true and the true value will be stored in this filter function and that result will be converted into a list with the help of list function and in the second line we are using list comprehension from which we are extracting the employee id or the key from the list of the value and in the result we will get a new list that will only contain the key of the respective value we have provided so let's run and check if you see we have provided 75000 as a value and we get all the key which have 75000 as a value I hope you understood this example also so these were all the method present in python to find the key by value in additionally i hope you understood all of them thank you for watching this video please like share and subscribe to our youtube channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you never miss an update thank you